broadcast of high school varsity football. We are at Cardinal Stadium in New Bremen High School where the Delta St. John's Blue Jays are here to take on the New Bremen Cardinals. Tonight's game is brought to you by the following sponsors. Carly Equipment Corporation, First National Bank, Keyhole Pizza, Winner's Meats, Sydney Auglaze Audiology, Precision Strip, Wagner's IGA, and MK Telco. My name is Scott Fry, and I will have all the action for you tonight here. This is week three of high school football. The Double St. John's Blue Jays enter tonight's contest with Owen to a couple of tough moments in the uh, early going of their season. They lost the uh, the Delphus Bowl to their crosstown rival, the Delphus Jefferson Jeff Cats, 28-14, and then they dropped a, uh, a Catholic school versus Catholic school contest last week to LCC, Lima Central Catholic, 44-13. The New Bremen Cardinals entered tonight's contest at a record of 2-0. They traveled out of state a couple of weeks ago to open their season at Marion, Indiana, kind of the equivalent to an Ohio D-10 school. The Cardinals come away with an impressive one, 14 over Marion, and then they had their home opener last week. We had that right here on NK Telco Sports, where they hosted the Sydney Lehman Cavaliers and the Cardinals dominant right from the opening whistle of that matchup, and they win 58 to zero. I'd like to welcome everybody here to New Bremen High School. Thank you very much for watching. The Delta St. John's Blue Jays come into tonight with a huge tradition of winning football. They have the state record, 57 wins in a row between two coaches, Vic Whiting and the current head coach in his 24th year, Mr. Todd Schulte. They also have a handful of state titles. By my reckoning, it is a total of six. And they also have 10 MAC championships. Cardinals, on the other hand, different kind of tradition. They're building their tradition right now. They are the current Division Seven state champions, their first state title in football and third state title in the school athletic program. Chris Schmidt has been at the helm here in New Bremen for seven years now. And he came in on the tail end of two winless seasons. And he has slowly, he and his coaching staff has slowly built this program into what it is right now. And that is a winning program. So tonight is going to be week one of MAC play. That's Midwest Athletic Conference play. This is a conference opener for both schools. Right now, New Bremen sits undefeated 2-0 along with Coldwater, Fort Recovery, Marion Local, Versailles atop the MAC. Anna, Minster, St. Henry are all 1-1, one and, one, and Parkway and St. John's both 0-2 yet to get their first win. And so tonight everything starts to get all knotted up and all interesting as uh, all the Mac schools are going to square off against each other, and we should have a good ball game tonight for you. I want to run down a list of additional sponsors for you. Our five-star recruitment sponsor, Crown Equipment Corporation. Our MVP sponsors, Clope and Nedek Minster. Our scoreboard sponsor tonight, First National Bank. Keys to the game will be brought to you by Keyhole Pizza. Our replays, winners meets. Starting lineups will be from the Sydney Oglaze Audiology team. Our timeout sponsor tonight, Precision Strip. Stats and recap sponsor, Wagner's IGA. And then at the end of the game, we will choose a player of the game. And NK Telco is our sponsor for that. So Delta St. John's won the toss and they will defer their reception to the second half, and they're gonna kick to the New Bremen Cardinals. The Cardinals will be headed east to west once they receive this opening kickoff. And Delta St. John's will be going west to east. Kicking number 17, this is Ethan Druckemiller, six foot two inch junior. Also a wide receiver and defensive end according to my roster. Again, Todd Schulte bringing his Blue Jays in tonight, looking for their first win on the season and, of course, their first conference win as we get ready to roll here. Beautiful night in New Bremen. Nice crowd on both sides. Two marching bands were underway. Druckenmiller bounces it back to the goal line, and boy, oh, boy, Bergman's going to have to pick that up and do something with it. He's over the 10. He's going to try the near side now. He makes a couple guys miss, and he's going to get pushed out of bounds at about the 15 or 16-yard line. And so this is where we will number see the Cardinal offense. Most statistical number categories five. so far, looking at the uh, week two max stats, the Cardinals are in the middle of the conference when it comes to total offense, rushing offense. Their passing offense is toward the bottom of the conference. 
But again, last week, they didn't have a lot of offense. They kept uh, turning the ball over on their defensive unit and giving their offense short fields. So some of the stats are a little skewed here. So David Holman opens up in the shotgun, empty backfield. Design Ryan is going to go around the left side over the 15. And he's going to gain maybe two, maybe number three. Five, David Holman, the ball carrier. In on the he tackle is two. number he's two. Out by number two Landon That's Landon Grothaus. Grothaus is ball one ball of just three juniors on this Delphus defense. Gain of two on the play. You'll see a lot of this design run or RPO with David Holman. He's got one touchdown and two interceptions on the year. Quick hit to Trevor Bergman, a little receiver blocking downfield. It's Nick Alec. Boy, the Delphus defense does a great job of reading that. You're going to get a three-yard completion. So third down five here with the nose of the football at the 20-yard line. In on the tackle, J.J. Boniface, the defensive end, six-foot-one-inch, 180-pound senior, also the number two receiver for St. John's. Now the Cardinals will have Colton Muther. And he's going to stay in the block. A little off target on that pass. That was Ben Saylor, the intended receiver. And that'll fall incomplete. So the Cardinals with their first punt. Colton Muther is going to drop back to punt for the Cardinals. Senior running back. Muther off to a nice start running the football. About five yards a carry, but uh, really impressive. He's over 40 yards a punt, 40.8. So excellent leg for the senior running back. And there you see it. Booming kick. It's going to be fielded at the 40. This is Schulte. Now he's going to read the blocks and cut around to his left. Now change his mind again. And the Cardinals hem him in at about the 45 of New Bremen. So 46. So, boy, nice field position here for... Coach Schulte and the St. John's Blue Jays as they hold the Cardinals to a three and out to start things off. Starting a quarterback for the Blue Jays, five foot 10 inch, 168 pound senior, Brady Kerner. Rough outing in his first week against uh, Delphus Jefferson. I think he had six interceptions. Maybe that was the quarterback staff in its entirety. So Coach Schulte, one of his keyhole pizza keys to the game to be consistent on offense no turnovers and then get the defense off the field on third down and so far he did do that he's got the defense off the field and now you're going to get a little handoff a little scatter run up the middle that's number 25 Schwinnen nice little run there for Nolan Schwinnen gain of five just how you like it stay on schedule with those sticks Second down and five now for the Blue Jays. As they look over to Coach Schulte for their for their play. And now Schwinnen is in at quarterback. And this is a give to Ricker. And he's going to get the first down and more. He's across the 35 to the 38. And that is a St. John's first down. Excuse me, 33-yard line. Got my yard lines mixed up there. So Blake Ricker, first carry, eight yards. He averages about 6.7 a carry. He's the leading rusher for Coach Schulte. Going to get a little adjustment to the clock here from the referee. So Schwinnen in at quarterback here for St. John's. Three receivers right, one wide left by himself. Cardinals like to run a 5-2 defense. This is Schulte. He's going to take the jet sweep all the way around. Cardinals got him hemmed in. Now they just got to make that tackle, and they do so. Nice play there by the Cardinal defense. St. John's is going to lose about four back to the 37. Call it a loss of five. Brankston Kraus in on the uh, tackle, kind of the leader there, but a bunch of Cardinals. Mason Cook also in there for Coach Schmidt's Cardinals. So second down and about 14 now at the 37-yard line. The Schwinnen looks again to the sideline for his play. 
quick hitter on the outside, just a little turnaround. Nice tackle there on defense. Nick Alleg, gain of about six. That pass is complete to Fitrow. Gain of six. Gavin Fitro, the leading receiver in yardage and targets, also averages 14.6 per catch. Again, you're going to get three receivers, two slots and a wide out on the right side, and then Fitro on the left side. Just when it looks for the play, he's got... Ricker behind him. Cardinals with a little pressure. Schwinnen rolls out, overthrows. Schulte. So Delphus with a decision here. Fourth down and nine. They are at the Cardinal 33. So the Cardinal defense tightening up after that initial first down on the ground by Delphus. And now it looks like maybe they're going to mix up the personnel a little bit. The starting quarterback on the, the roster, the lineup card, was Brady Kerner, but Coach Schulte went ahead and went with Schwinnen, and it looks like now they've got Kerner back there in what looks like a punting formation. So we'll see if they do punt or they've got a little trickery here. High snap. Yep, he's going to try and drop it just inside, and it's going to go, lands it right at the one, but it goes into the end zone. And so the Cardinals will start first and 10 at the 20. Talk about the keyhole pizza keys to the game for the new Bremen Cardinals from Chris Schmidt, their seventh year coach. They want to prevent big plays, keep everything in front of them on defense, and they've done a good job of that so far. They want to force the Delphi St. John's offense to make long drives, give them a long field, and that hasn't happened yet, but it's early. They want to limit their penalties and turnovers, and they're off to a good start with that this season, by the way. And then they also want to win special teams. That's always an emphasis with Chris Schmidt. A little handoff. This is Hunter Schaefer, first carry of the year. He's been nursing a sore shoulder and a gang tackle there by the St. John's defense after a gain of two. Schaefer is supposed to be their feature running back but he has been out with a sore shoulder. This is his first action. He's also their kickoff specialist. I'd like to thank Chad Wells and the athletic staff here at New Bremen for the opportunity to come on site, host the game. Here's a give right at the middle. There's Hunter Schaefer, lowers the pads. He's gonna pick up about three, make it four. So two carries, total of seven yards. Cardinals come in with a plus seven turnover margin. They lead the MAC in that category. Delphus in with a minus nine turnover margin. So you can see why both coaches are preaching turnovers. Because boy, oh boy, turnovers will win you the game if you're on the, the right side of that ledger, and they will absolutely kill you if you're not. So the Cardinals now in a little bit of a pistol formation. Schaefer off the right hip of David Holm and two receivers right. This is Brankston Kraus in motion. Little design roll right, Homan with a quick pass over there to Trevor Bergman, unable to reel it in. Right there on defense for Coach Schulte. I think that was, yeah, Brayson Schulte over there, the senior. So the Cardinals are going to have to punt again. So two three and outs for the Cardinal offense. St. John's doing a nice job there on defense. And so this is Colton Muther. He'll have his first attempt at a punt tonight. Or excuse me, second attempt. Here it is, nice high kick. Should give his guys time to run down there and get under it. Aaron Team in the gunner. He's going to be right down there. And now you're going to get a little fan activity there, hoping for a hold, but they're not going to get it. And so the ball is down at the 31. And St. John's will be first and 10. Let's see if Coach continues to go with Schwinnen at quarterback. Got David Holman on that, uh, and from his quarterbacking perspective, one of three so far. Schwinnen one of two for six yards. So we'll see what Delphus can get going here on offense to Coach, point, Coach Schmidt's point now. They've given Delphus a little bit longer field. They're gonna start at the 33. 
It's a handoff up the middle. Maybe two. Mason Cook in there on the tackle. Number 13, Clay Podubny on the carry, a junior running back, 6'2", 195. Just a little dive up the middle. Gain a two on the play. Schwinnin looks across to get the play. Eight seconds on the play clock. Sends a man in motion. That's Nathan Ditto. And a little quick, quick handoff. That is Blake Ricker. He's going to gain six. Bring up third down and manageable. Ah, looks like Schwinnin kept that. My apologies. He's 11 yards on two carries so far. So the Blue Jays. Now third down and a long four, almost five. And they'll put Fitro wide left where he'll spend most of the night. In the slot is going to be Grayson Schulte, another receiver that uh, he averages 17.8 yards a care, uh, reception. Schwinnen now fakes a handoff, pulls it down. Now he's going to try and hit. And here's an interception of the floater, David Oman, over the 50, lowers the boom, tackled there by Boniface. But the Cardinals get their first takeaway. He just floated the ball, and it gave David Holman plenty of time to run under it and pick up the turnover. And so the Cardinals now have it first and 10 at the Delphus 45. And this has been an issue for uh, St. John's. So this drive goes two plays and an interception to David Holman. I believe that is his second pick on the season. So Holman at quarterback now. See what the Cardinals can get going here on offense. So far, it's been pretty quiet. Fakes to Muther. Now wide open over the middle. Ben Saylor, and he hauls the high pass in. And that's going to be a 16-yard pitch and catch. Nice play there. Nice little job there. Ben Saylor kind of running a little tight end position. Leaks off the offensive line and finds himself wide open. And uh, Ben Saylor is a point guard on the basketball team. Very athletic, very quick. And so that's a good mismatch for Coach Schmidt and the Cardinals. And they just made the Blue Jays pay on that one. So first down. In fact, that is the first first down of the night for the Cardinals. Now Holman design rollout right. He's going to pull it down and run over the 30. 35 is going to get hammered pretty good at about the 20. Very close to another Cardinal first down. Let's see where they spot the ball. Just short by a half of a football, so let's give him nine yards on that carry. Second down and one, so this really opens up the playbook. I'll be curious to see if Coach Morris, Wentz Morris, the offensive coordinator here in New Bremen, will open up the playbook a little bit. We'll see what happens. Trevor Bergman wide left. Nick Allig in the slot left. Plenty of time for Holman. Quick hitter with Alley over the middle. That's easily a first down, down inside the 10. They're going to spot him at the 9. So that's another Cardinal first down on this drive, total of 2. Gain of gain of 6. So that's Alex's first catch. And David Holman now 3 of 5 passing for 25 yards. And the Cardinals are in business, first and goal at the 9-yard line. Two receivers, now three receivers left. Colton Muther is going to be out in a drop back slot. Design run. Now Holman's going to bounce it outside. He's got clear sailing into the end zone. Nine yards. And the Cardinals are on the board with a David Holman touchdown off of a David Holman interception. And so onto the field for the Cardinals will be Owen Gable, affectionately known in these parts as OG. 11 made point after attempts on the season. Second max scoring right now. now. Let's see if he can make this one. Almost blocked. That is up, and that is good. And so the Cardinals take the early lead here with 3.43 to go on the first National Bank scoreboard. Your score, New Bremen 7, Delta St. John 0 in the MAC conference opener here on NK Telco Sports.
Welcome back to Cardinal Stadium, New Bremen High School. The Cardinals out to an early lead, draw first blood tonight in this max season opener. David Holman picks off Nolan Schwinnen. Cardinals get the ball at the 45, march right down, and Holman takes it in on a nine yard keeper. I believe that's his third touchdown of the season. Here goes Hunter Schaefer to kick for the Cardinals. Nice deep kick right down the middle of the field. And this is Schulte, fields it inside the 10 over the 15, 20, changes direction, 25, 30. He's got space, 30, 35, cuts again. Now to the 40, man, he is sketchy. Nice job of finally tracking him down, but boy, great return for Brayson Schulte. Great work. Dylan Kramer in there on the tackle for the Cardinals. Also in there, uh, Gavin Plyman. But boy, great return there for Brayson Schulte to give Delphus a short field here. They're going to open this drive at the Cardinal 49. 331 to go. If you're just joining us, welcome. I'm Scott Fry bringing you all the action here. Friday Night Lights, Midwest Athletic Conference. Home opener for the car, excuse me, conference opener. Schwinnen stays in a quarterback. Behind him is Ricker. Schwinnen drops back. Ricker stays in the block. Cardinals get some pressure. Wide open. Well, not wide open, but nicely done there. That was David Holman from his safety position. He got to that receiver, uh, Fitro, at the exact same time as the football and did a nice job of breaking that up. So David Holman with an INT and a pass breakup. And in talking with the Cardinal coaching staff, the magic that David Homan brings to the to the game here, I mean, he's obviously an athletic kid, but his acumen, his understanding of the game, and there you see him reading the field and getting there. He's very, very quick and getting there just as the ball does, perfectly timed hit to break up that pass. So second down to 10 now for Delphus. Schwinnen with Ricker behind him. Two receivers right, Petro left. Now they give us to Ricker, and boy, oh boy, oh boy, Cardinals came plowing through there. That's number 56. Evan Eink, six foot one inch, 193 pound linebacker. He's a junior, loss of three. Ricker was on that carry, so two carries for five yards now for Blake Ricker. Nice job of getting off blocks there by the Cardinals. Up front for Delphus. At center, Jacob Miller, number 70. Right guard, 56, Logan Dickman. Left guard, 50, Camden Schaefer. I'll get the rest of the lineup. After this play, Schulte in motion, little keeper Schwinnen right at midfield. And Ethan Eink, excuse me, Evan Eink meets him there. Let's say Schwinnen gained three. Fourth down and 10. Rest of that Delphus O line. Again, Sydney Ugly's audiology starters. The right tackle, Dylan Cross, left tackle, Aiden Troyer. What's interesting about St. John's is. Of the 11 men on offense, 10 of them are seniors. Uh, the only junior, Camden Schaefer, the left guard. So back to punt now will be Brady Kerner. Back to receive is Trevor Bergman. Here's your kick. Nice high kick, angled to the sideline. Bergman will let it go. And Delphus, a very favorable bounce, very nice. Down to the eight. They're going to call it the nine-yard line where the Cardinals will start off on offense with 1.49 to go here in the first. New Bremen with a touchdown lead set to do some work here on offense. Cardinals starting offensive line. Again, Sydney Ugly's audiology starting lineup. Your center, Grant Wilker, also on the O-line. 52, Mason Cook. 67, Caden Putoff. Get the rest of those numbers as we go here. Homan with a back on his right hip. That's Schaefer. He's going to take the ball over to the left side, gets through the B gap, and falls forward. And that's what you get with Hunter Schaefer. He's going to lower the shoulder. That, that ball started at the nine. He fell forward. Probably got two yards just out of pure strength going through the tackle. So four yards for Schaefer. Three carries, 11 yards. Also up front for the Cardinals, number 58, Carter Elking. Number 65, Jacob Osterfeld. Delphus bringing some additional pressure that gives to Brankston Krause the tight end. This young man can run and cut. 
strong runner, enough for a first down out to the 25, but we've got flags in a very suspicious location that's usually offensive holding. So Krause gets it out to the 25, but let's see if that's gonna hold. Delphus brought some extra pressure. Fitro came in from his linebacker position, a little run blitz. Looked like the Cardinals picked it up pretty well, but if you hold, <laughs> usually looks like you're picking it up pretty well. The officials will talk things over for us. Still no indication. He's indicating holding. They offset. He's explaining it to Coach Schulte. I couldn't see the second gesture, but I think he's indicating that there was a penalty on each side. Coach Schulte. I couldn't see the second gesture, but I think he's indicating that there was a penalty on each side. Let's see what he tells us. Well, he's going to walk in an Easter eastward direction here. Holding against the Cardinals. Declined. And I don't know that gesture. Blindside block. Very, very nice. So I got to give credit where credit is due. Nolan Emerson on the camera with us tonight is going to help me out with that officiating gesture. And that's a blindside block. That's a spot foul and it appears to be a five-yard spot foul. So not as bad as holding. But I think the yardage for this penalty is a lot more painful for the Cardinals, which is why Coach Schulte took it. So second down and 11, loss of down also. So it would have been first down over again, so he uh, elected to take the loss of down. So second and 11. So Krause will get credit for about an eight-yard carry, and then they'll back it up. And here's a quick handoff up the middle, and Delphus has no interest in letting that continue. Nice job getting in there. That's Camden Schaefer, the junior linebacker, 5'10", 175. Stops Schaefer for no gain. Oh, looks like they're going to give him two on that now. Four carries, 13 yards for the Cardinal running back, Hunter Schaefer. Schaefer's a junior, 5'9", inch, 180 yards. Uh, last season during the playoff run, he had to come in and fill the rather large shoes of Zach Berkey, who went down with a knee, and Schaefer did a nice job against LCC and then in the state playoff championship game. And here's rolling and throwing against your body. Dave Holman ends up throwing one behind Nick Alec. And that'll bring up another punting situation for the Cardinals. Nolan Schwinnen back there in coverage, but there was, that would have been a tough catch. And that's going to bring it in to one quarter of play with your score, New Bremen 7, Delta St. John's Blue Jays 0 here on NK Telco Sports. Are you looking for a new career with amazing growth potential? NEDEC Press and Automation is hiring for many positions right now. NEDEC is a global company that is growing with its sights on being a billion dollar company. Machinists, service technicians, human resource personnel, IT specialists, electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, and many more. The opportunities abound at NEDEC Press and Automation. Go to MinsterJobs.com now to get started on your new career with NEDEC. Clope Building Products, America's favorite garage door, is now hiring for all manufacturing and over-the-road CDLA driving positions. Clope is the largest residential garage door manufacturer in North America, and we are continuing to grow. Join our team and work in a safe, clean, modern environment. Clope offers a great benefits package, is an equal opportunity employer, and a drug-free work environment. Imagine the possibilities when you open the door to your career at clopedoor.com slash careers. Welcome back to Cardinal Stadium at New Bremen High School. Colton Muther stands in the west end zone in front of the student section. Looks like, like beach night or Hawaii night, something cool going on down there. 
Nice snap, Muth are gonna boom it, shanks it. Boy, the wrong time to do that, and it's out of bounds at about the 22-23. Side judge is gonna be awfully generous right there, and he's gonna walk it to the, oh, we're not generous as I thought we were. Goodness, where's he going? The 17, so man, that uh, that key for Coach Schmidt of giving Delphus a short, a uh, long field on offense kind of just didn't happen right there as again, Muther punts one off the side of his foot and Delphus will be in great field position here to start off the second quarter as Schwinnen looks across to get the play from the far sideline. He will start this drive with Blake Ricker, the senior tailback behind him. Two receivers each side now, a little different look for Delphus. No tight ends in this set. And a little mix up there. It looked like Ricker slipped and in there is Brankston Krause to make the tackle. Gives Schwinnen about a yard on that one. It looked like he was gonna, it looked like Ricker thought he was supposed to get the ball and you even see them talking now. Um, little mix up and Brankston Krause doing what Brankston Krause does, gets right in there. And Schwinnen picks up a yard, second and nine. Four carries, 15 yards for the St. John's signal caller. Uh, Nolan Schwinnen, a junior. Excuse me, looking at the wrong roster. My apologies. Nolan Schwinnen, a junior, 5'10", 165. He'll send Schulte in motion across the formation. Now throw a little in. Oh, nice play. And boy, oh boy, you got a wrap. You can't bump, guys. And man, I'll tell you what, that was a nice hit to get in the end zone. Brendan Olison with the score. 16 yard pitch and catch for the touchdown for Delta St. John's. You saw Bremen defensive back come in there and try to make the big explosion, but you got a wrap and Olson bounced off of that hit and marched into the end zone. So two plays from scrimmage and Delphus is in business with a 16 yard pitch and catch from Schwinnen to Olison. Just a nice little quick slant. All kinds of confusion in the backfield for the defense kind of froze the linebackers and that left Olison coming in off the corner wide open in the middle of the field and that was all she wrote. And your point after attempt by Barry Chokaj Gonzalez, the sophomore is up and good. And we've got a tie ball game here in New Bremen. 11.09 to go, quarter two, New Bremen, quarter two, New Bremen seven, Delta St. John seven here on NK Telco Sports. Welcome back to Cardinal Stadium. So quick momentum shift in favor of the Delta St. John's Blue Jays as they make that short punt hurt a little bit for Chris Schmidt and his Cardinals. Two plays, 17 yards on that scoring drive. And the capper was Schwinnen to Olison. And here comes your kick. This is Aaron Tiemann. He's gonna take it across the 30, 35. Very quick, met there at about the 35, maybe the 36. And so the Cardinals now need to get if you're Coach Schmidt, Coach Morris, they need to get a sustained possession here, keep the football, and see if they can answer the Delta St. John's score. And uh, true Mac fashion, one team 2-0 oh coming in, one team 0-2 oh coming in, doesn't matter. MAC football, man, it's tough sled, and we got us a maybe a little slobber knocker going here. Low scoring affair. And here we go. Holman now with Muther off of his right hip. And Holman, a design run, is going to follow his back over the 40. Gain of five. They're going to mark him right at the 40. So Holman with five yards on that run. He had Colton Muther right 
in front of him blocking. Four carries, 25 yards now for the Cardinal signal caller. Actually the leading rusher on this team. 10.2 yards a carry. And it's a give to Muther. He's going to go around the right side. He's going to stiff arm and then try to get out there where there's some space. And Delta St. John's was all over that. They were ready for that one. And that's a loss of a yard on Muther's first carry. I tell you, I'm impressed with St. John's. Aiden Troyer on his D-line position. Also 56, Logan Dickman just did a nice job of shedding blocks. Dickman from the D-end position. And on the inside, the tackle there, Troyer, both seniors. Nice job there on defense. Empty backfield, jet sweep, Brankston Krause cuts it inside over the 45, out to the 47. Nolan Schwinnen out there, and that's going to be enough for a Cardinal first down. It's a gain of seven. It's his second carry of the night for 15 yards, so the Cardinals in business now. Their third first down, actually, excuse me, their fourth first down. Trevor Bergman comes wide right. Kind of the tight end position there. That is Dylan Bombauer, 25. Muther in at the back. Bombauer going to go cross formation. Holman tries to make a couple guys miss. Gets hung up on his own O-lineman and in there for the stop for Delphi St. John's. That is Gavin Fitro. Holds him up and I think Dylan Cross kind of cleaned him up. Three yard loss for the Cardinals. Again, Delta St. John's doing a nice job of keying on David Homan here in this series. Second down 13 now. Ball's on the Cardinal 44. Two receivers left, one right. Single back, that's Muther. He stays in the block. Quick hitter to Ben Saylor. Out over midfield. Looks like the side judge right there is going to give that the 49 yard line. That is a five yard pitch and catch. So four of six now passing for Holman for 30 yards. That is Ben Saylor's first catch. One reception for five. Across the formation, Bombauer, he'll set up and block from his tight end position. This is a design run all the way. Holman over the 50, tries to spin and cut it inside. And again, Delphus doing a nice job. Nolan Schwinnen wrapping him up. Not a lot there. Forty-eight yard line is where they're going to spot the ball. So fourth and five for the Cardinals, and it appears they're going to bring in the punting unit. About three yards on the carry, but nowhere near enough. Muther now is going to punt. Cardinal drives punt, punt, touchdown off the pick. Bad snap. Muther's in trouble. He's going to have to do something with it. Boy, Duffus is all over him, and he's going to try and cut it back, and you're not going to get away from Landon Elwer, and then he makes a liar out of me. Oh, and the Cardinals may get that. Duffus made a fatal error. They touch that ball, and that's a live ball, and I do believe New Bremen just lived to fight another day as Muther tries to punt that, and it is Cardinal ball at the 30, excuse me, the 21. Wow, that was a big mistake right there if you're Duffus. You just got to let that ball go. But, again, reaction is everything. Uh, I think that was Fitro. He just saw that ball coming at him. He's a receiver. Muffed it. And so the Cardinals in business here. Boy, big break for Coach Schmidt. That's going to go in the books as a St. John's fumble. Muffed punt, essentially. But the snap was way over Muther's head, and there were probably six Blue Jays that hemmed him in. I really thought Logan Elwer, the second leading tackler for the Jays, was going to get him. Muther made him miss. Very strong runner. He's done a great job this season backing up Hunter Schaefer. And, man, what an athletic play to, you know, get the ball out of there. And, you know, when you do that stuff, good things happen. Officials, I think, are just going to converse to make sure that the Cardinals maybe didn't touch it first before St. John's did. So we'll see what they come up with here. 7.36 to go. New Bremen 7, Delphi 7. Thank you for joining us. First National Bank scoreboard. In fact, it's even on the scoreboard. Second quarter action here in the NAC opener, and by the sound of the crowd, the uh, the, the New Bremen faithful, they are going to retain possession. Colt Schulte is going to come out and get an explanation just to make sure he's on the same page. So that was a bit of a goofy play. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. 
Again, Muther just does a nice job of evading the, the rush. And uh, gets that ball away, and St. John's muffs it. And Cardinal ball. Boy, heads up play there by the Cardinals. Uh, Dylan Bombauer, the tight end, linebacker, number 25, falling on that live football. Very heads up because there were two other Blue Jays right there. So the Cardinals now need to get something going on offense. This is uh, expected to, oh, it's a Delphus ball. They're going to flip the call over. Coach Schmidt now is going to need an explanation. That's interesting. And again, I'm pretty far away, so I'm just going to tell you what I know here. Interesting call. We don't have the winner's meets replay with a single camera run tonight, so we can't really go back and have a look ourselves. But the officials will go ahead and give Coach Schmidt an explanation. And now Delphus, this is a huge flop here in momentum because now Delphus has another short field, first and 10 at the Cardinal 21. I don't know how they got possession. Must be the Cardinals touched it first, but which would kill the ball. And no matter who falls on it, it doesn't matter because the Cardinals would have killed it. So Coach Schmidt satisfied with the explanation, probably not excited about the outcome, but hey, let's play defense, he says. And that is one thing about Coach Schmidt. He is a very positive coach. And so, interesting turn of events here. You thought New Bremen dodged one, but boy, Delphus taking advantage of the field position game, which is normally the strength of Coach Schmidt and the Cardinals. Here's the give now to Ricker. He's going to bounce out to the left side. Muther in there to hold him up, and then Brankston Krause comes in to clean up with Kyle Licklider. But damage done. About four yards on the carry there for Ricker. Three carries for nine yards now for Ricker. So that'll go down as a Cardinal, basically a Cardinal punt. Down by St. John's. Second play of the drive here for the Blue Jays down inside the Cardinal 20. Let's see if they can make the Cardinals pay. This is Ricker again up the middle. Mason Cook and Brankston Krause kind of bookends. Maybe a gain of one there. Ricker, very strong runner. Four yards, or excuse me, four carries, 10 yards. Nice job of making a uh, positive play out of what could have been a loss. So Schwinnen again looks over to the sideline to get his play. He's going to have Fitro and Brayson Schulte on the left side at receiver. And I believe that's J.J. Boniface out there on the right side. And now you've got some kind of a stoppage. Yeah, we're going to get a timeout. Delphi St. John's will take a timeout with them. This is a precision strip timeout. And so we'll be right back after this. Please come back and enjoy his high school football. Cardinal 7, Blue Jays 7 here on NK Toco Sports. Welcome back to Cardinal Stadium on the first National Bank scoreboard. The New Bremen Cardinals 7, Delphi St. John's 7, third and five. St. John's threatening. Cardinals need to come up with a big play, a really strange punt play. Punt was over, or the, the snap was over Muther's head, the punter, and he did a great job of getting rid of it, and it looked like they were going to award the ball to the Cardinals after a Blue Jay muffed it, but they overturned, they, they reversed that call, and Delphus got possession, so Schwinnen now in the shotgun with Ricker behind him. Schwinnen designed run, going to try it right at the middle. Cardinals D-line there to shut that down. Nathan Rindler, Mason Cook, and Colton Youth are all in there to shut that down. Gain of about two. 17 yards on five carries, so fourth and four for St. John's. 
And I have no idea the quality of their kicking game as far as field goals are concerned. So looks like they're going to stay in the field and play offense. You have Grayson Schulte. You have Elwer and Boniface on the right side. You have Feature on the left side. In motion is Schulte. Here's your snap. Rickard picks up a block. Schwinnin's going to run for it. He's going to gain the first down over the 10. And Delphus is in business. Again, nice patient read right there by Schwinnin. Let the play open up. Huge running lanes in the middle. And off he went on a three-yard gain. Excuse me, a five-yard gain. And more importantly, a Delphus St. John first down right at the 10-yard line. And the sticks are down, so they are looking at this as first and goal on the 10. Schwinnen, one back behind him. That is number 13, Padubny. Wow, what a strong run. Padubny drags two Cardinals down to the five, let's say the six. Clay Padubny one of the few players that doesn't play both directions. Here he is playing both directions. He's a linebacker on defense, but you see why they want him running the ball, man. He's got low center of gravity, good leg strength. As they say, keep your legs driving. And that alone gained him an extra two yards on that play. So Delphus now second to goal at the six. Nine on the play clock as they're waiting for the play to come in. Schwinnen now will get in the shotgun. Padumi behind him, three receivers right, one in motion. That's Nathan Ditto. Gives to Padubny up the middle, and this time the Cardinals are on him pretty quickly. Brankston Krause and 56, Evan Eink. But again, Padubny could have been stopped for a loss, but that leg drive gains him a yard, makes it a positive play. It's the third down and goal from the five, so the Cardinal defense trying to stop Adelphus opportunity. Another short field, two short fields in a row here for St. John's, the last drive started at the 17. This one started at the 21. So Delphus trying to make the most out of a bad punting situation. Schwinnen back to pass, now he's gonna pull it down. Cardinals chasing him side to side and that's not where you wanna be. And they're gonna get the stop down inside the five to the four. Gain of a yard. Cardinals did a nice job of keeping him from getting into the second level because at this stage, the second level is the end zone. 328 on the first National Bank scoreboard is Delphus. Fourth and goal from the four. Cardinal Faithful starting to come to their feet here and trying to get that defense fired up. And Delphus, as you can see here, and it's the thing I kind of like, just my personal opinion, they're trying to spread that defense out to create running room and decision options for Schwinnen. He likes to run that RPO, run pass option, and now you're going to get a timeout. And that is called by Coach Schulte and the Blue Jays. We'll take it with them. 303 on the first National Bank scoreboard. We are all knotted up here at 7 in New Bremen on NK Telco Sports. Back to Cardinal Stadium. Scott Fry here giving you all the action. We've got a tight one here, a little slobber knocker. Now, I was just talking with our cameraman, uh, Nolan Emerson, on the break here, and we both agree Delta St. John's has really done a nice job, particularly when they have the football at the line of scrimmage, making holes, and they're kind of out physicaling, if I can make up a word, the Cardinals up front, really on both sides of the ball here. Schwinnen with Padebny behind him, two receivers right. Cardinals jump off sides, and they're going to go half the distance. I didn't see a single Blue Jay flinch, so I think that'll be a half the distance. So it'll be fourth and goal from the two, which down here is a big difference, big difference. When you only got to gain two yards, that's a crucial mistake there by the Cardinals. Second penalty, I believe, of the night. But boy, what a tough one right there. 303 on the first National Bank scoreboard. Delphi's gonna call something different here. Fourth and two from the two. 
fourth and goal from the two. Curious to see what they call here. Schwinnen likes to pull it down and run. He's tough to tackle. Here it is. He's going to be design run all the way, and he's going to make the corner, and that is a St. John's touchdown. Well played. Just string the defense out. There's no way they can get over there. So Nolan Schwinnen, two-yard touchdown run as St. John's begins to line up for their extra point. Well executed. Another short field for St. John's and another touchdown for St. John's. Last drive started at the 17. Two plays and in. This one started at the 21. I think about seven, maybe eight plays. Kick is up and good. So with three minutes to go on the first National Bank scoreboard here in New Bremen, the Delta St. John's Blue Jays in town with a 14-7 lead over the New Bremen Cardinals here on NK Telco Sports. Welcome back, thanks for joining us here at Cardinal Stadium, New Bremen High School, beautiful facility, beautiful night. Atop the press box, and St. John's in town to do some business, 14-7 over the home Cardinals. A couple of uh, punting situations. Uh, two keys to the game, keyhole pizza keys to the game are breaking down right now for Coach Schmidt. He wanted to win special teams, that is the opposite has happened. He wanted to give St. John's a long field. The opposite is happening. Look where we are, down by a touchdown. Short kick on the left side. Nick Gallagher will run it out of bounds at about the 35, and the Cardinals will start with solid field position. The other thing that's interesting to note is Delta St. John's, that D-line, has done a nice job of containing what could be an explosive Cardinal run game and forced the Cardinals to pass. David Holman, four of six for 30 yards passing. He does have a rushing touchdown but they've done a nice job. The Cardinals only have 53 yards, 52 yards on the ground by my count, and we're three minutes from halftime. Krause in motion, so Delta St. John's up front's done a nice job. Holman rolls, rolls, looks. He's got Trevor Bergman wide open, 30, 25, cuts in 20. Oh, nice tackle. Woo, that saved the touchdown. Number seven, TJ Works, freshman, saves the touchdown. If Holman can hit Bergman in stride, Trevor Bergman's gone because he is quick. But at any rate, that's a first down for the Cardinals. And that is 29 plus five is 34 yards. Pitch and catch, Holman now rolling to the left, throwing against his body, Nick Alleg up and touchdown! Cardinals! It's good, boy oh boy, what a catch! Bing bang boom, just like that. 29 yard pitch and catch, 21 yard pitch and catch. David Holman comes alive in the pass game, and the Cardinals are up, excuse me, almost up, almost tied, down a point. OG now in the attempt, the point after. A couple of big offensive plays. Goodness. Just like that, 55 yards in two plays. And the point after is good. So we are all tied up, 2.36 to go in the first half. The Cardinals answer the Delta St. John's score. New Bremen 14, Delta St. John's 14 here on NK Telco Sports.
Welcome back to New Bremen High School here in NK Telco Sports. All of a sudden, stuff's happening. Delta St. John's takes advantage of a couple of uh, punting misfortunes by the Cardinals, puts 14 on the board, two successive drives. Cardinals answer, 34-yard pass and a 21-yard pass. Boom, boom. From First of all, David Homan to Trevor Bergman for 34 yards, gets the Cardinals to the 21. And then Homan to Nick Allig. Allig just kind of posts up, high points the ball in the front corner of the end zone. Comes down two feet, touchdown. And just like that, we are tied 14-14 on the first National Bank scoreboard as Hunter Schaefer set to kick. Two play drive, 55 yards. Holman to Allig. Deep kick back at the six. This is Schulte, 15-20. Very sketchy runner, got a flag. In on the tackle for the Cardinals is Trevor Schaefer. And I think Colton Muther also, but we do have a flag and it looks like a hold against St. John's. So this is the long field Coach Schmidt was hoping for. So let's see where they mark the ball. This is holding, I think it's 10, okay, illegal use of the hands, probably blocking the back. So they're gonna walk that one 10 yards. And that'll set them up first and 10 at their 10. So Delphus has drives of punt, interception, led to Cardinal touchdown, punt, touchdown, touchdown. Cardinals have drives of punt, punt, touchdown off the interception, punt, punt, and then a two play touchdown drive. And so now St. John's deep in their own territory at the 10. High snap, Schwinden pulls it down, tries to go up the middle. Caught from behind by Brankston Krause, having a very busy day from his D-end position. Eight carries, 23 yards now for Schwinnen. And this game has got really interesting. St. John's had a huge momentum swing. Cardinals look to be starting to kind of roll in those special teams breakdowns. Uh, they'll kill you. I mean, special teams will eat you up. And you saw it there, but the Cardinal offense opens things up, stretch the field, Holman, a couple of nice passes, and here we are tied at 14. Schwinn and three receivers right, one left. Here comes the receiver in motion, Schwinn and keeps right up the middle. The Cardinals kind of stand him up, and then we've got a little bit of like a rugby scrum. Gain of three. In the middle of that, Nathan Rindler. Also in there for the Cardinals is Carter Elking, and the Cardinals are going to call timeout to save time on the clock with Delta St. John's backed up third and long deep in their territory. We'll just keep it right here. Again, Schwinnen, gain of about three on the play. So that's his ninth carry of the night. Again, the Blue Jays like that RPO run pass option. Keeps the defense honest on those pass routes and opens up the lanes up front. And when the O-line can do its job, Schwinnen's had some good runs. But here on this drive so far, the Cardinal D-line doing a nice job of contain. Give you some numbers on that D-line and some names. Nolan Kenning, number 57, the sophomore down there. Number 67 is uh, Caden Putoff, the senior. 57 in the middle there for the Cardinals. That's, oh, I already said that, Nolan Kenning. 58, sorry, Carter Elking. Cardinals run a 5-2. They'll put three down linemen and usually two linebackers. Now they're going one, two, three, four linebackers. So they're a little bit of a, a pass protect defense with just three down linemen. And then Brankston Krause will put a hand in the grass on D end on the left side, number eight. So Schwinnen getting his offense set. Schulte. Schwinnen keeps it, drops it. And now the Cardinals fall on him. And we may have a turnover. I got so busy trying to catch the formation. I looked down when the play started and Delphus did fall on it. So Schwinnen ends up with a net zero gain. But boy, would that have been a huge turnover for the Cardinals. So good, uh, good fortune there. And the Cardinals will take a timeout and we'll take a percentage step timeout with them. 14-14, 132 to go in the first half here on NK Telco Sports.
Welcome back to Cardinal Stadium. Fourth down and about five, maybe six here for Delphus as they are at their own nine, excuse me, 14 yard line. They got buried deep off of a holding call on the kickoff following the Cardinal score. And they've just not been able to get a lot going here. So back to punt is Kerner standing at his one. Always want to have a good snap here. Kerner grabs it. Kind of a line drive. Nice bounce for Delta St. John's. In there to field that as Gavin Fitro to down it. Nice roll there for St. John's to the Cardinals. First and 10 at the 42. Now you saw Coach Schmidt burn two timeouts right there toward the end of the half to get exactly what he's got here as he preserved clock time, 121. And now that we've seen how quickly the Cardinal offense can strike, the last drive started at the 45, the Cardinal 45. And now they're at their own 42. So again, they can move that ball quickly when they execute. So we'll see what Coach Schmidt has drawn up. Bergman, Alec, Hunter Schaefer now on the left side in at slot. This is Frankston Kraus. He'll set up a tight end. Holman pass all the way, rolls to his left. Tries to square up, nobody's open. Padubny in there. Oh, Brankston Krause is a little open under the seam. And that's gonna be a pitch and catch for a Cardinal first down. And that started at the 42 and it ends up at the 46. That is a 16 yard pass play. Well executed there. Looked like they had them stopped. But Holman found Crank Kraus had slipped in behind the linebacker. And that's another Cardinal first down. That's their seventh of the first half. And they're at the 41, 58 seconds. Quick hitter over the middle, Nick Alec. Another Cardinal first down, down to the 35. Excuse me, 25, that's 16 yards. Another first down for the Cardinals. Another 16 yards for Alec. And that's a Cardinal touchdown right down the middle. Nick Alec, his second of the night. Told you they could do it quickly, and there you see it, 2014. David Holman, long one down the middle. Let Nick Alec go do what he does. And that was a 25-yard pass for touchdown. Alec's second tally. See if OG, Owen Gable, the junior place kicker, can hit this PAT. And he does, 14 on the year. And the Cardinals now two quick scores in a very short order. 41 seconds left on the first National Bank scoreboard here in New Bremen. And we're headed into halftime very shortly with the Cardinals with a seven point lead over Delta St. John's Blue Jays here on NK Telco Sports. We are at New Bremen High School Cardinal Stadium. Beautiful facility here. Midwest Athletic Conference football, and we've got a good one. 41 seconds left to go on the first National Bank scoreboard before we take a little break for halftime. And the Cardinals, just a few minutes ago on the clock, were down 14-7. But uh, a two-play drive for a touchdown score from their own 45 and a three-play drive from their own 42. And the Cardinals are in business. Hunter Schaefer to kick. Nice kick right down the hash. Fielded at the 11. He's gonna cut right, this is Olsen, the 20, around the right side. And he runs into the waiting arms of Cardinals number 83, that's Hayden Zeller, sophomore. And St. John's will be in business now, first and 10 at the 26. 34 seconds to go on the first National Bank scoreboard.
Looks like we'll have Schwinnen in at quarterback. Dubney's going to continue to play running back here as you see Ricker switch off. You're going to have Fitro and Brayson Schulte on the left side in the wing. And Kyle Licklider is all over that run. That's going to be a loss of two. Pudubny stopped in the backfield. Kyle Licklider comes up from his linebacking position, senior linebacker. And then that's that 5-2. Now Cardinals got two interior linemen and two linebackers, uh, but they play like DNs. You can see how tall they are, and you see they're both standing up now. Sometimes you'll see three down and two linebackers for the 5-2. It's sort of a hybrid. And the Cardinals have this hemmed in, and now you're going to get a flag in the area of holding. Mason Cook in there at the point of attack for the tackle. Number 11 for Delphus, Landon Elwer, the ball carrier, a fine runner by his own right. Another loss, and it's going to be a holding call, and I'm sure the Cardinals will take this. But you're down to zero on the clock, so that may have just ended our half. Penalties declined, and the end of the first half on the first National Bank scoreboard. The New Bremen Cardinals hold serve here at home in the first half. They are up 21-14 over the Delta St. John's Blue Jays here on NK Telco Sports. The date is set. The lake has been chosen. It's time to sign up for the second annual Brush Pile Fishing Veterans Tournament. Proceeds from this event will benefit Save a Warrior and the Travis Mills Foundation. Both organizations focus on helping veterans live the best life they possibly can by treating their physical and psychological traumas. Visit brushpilefishing.com to register or to learn how to donate. Hi, I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. All Glaze and Sydney Audiology are committed to providing the most advanced and affordable hearing care solutions. Did you know that more and more insurances are offering coverage for hearing needs and that we are the most comprehensive provider in the area? Because we want to serve all in our community, we partner with agencies such as Medicaid, OOD, Sertoma, and most recently the VA, helping our veterans find local solutions to their problems. Don't leave unused benefits on the table this year. Call us today to see if you qualify. Cardinals open up the scoring with a seven no, uh, seven to nothing. It was a nine-yard touchdown pass from uh, David Holman to, gosh, I didn't write down the number of that. But at any rate, David Holman had a uh, nine-yard nine touchdown run. Excuse me. That's why I didn't have a reception number. And that brought us to 7-0. After that, Delta St. John's tied things up off of a, uh, a very short Cardinal punt. They started first and 10 at the Cardinal 17, two plays and in. Schwinnen to Olsen, 16 yards for the touchdown, PAT good. And then on a subsequent drive, another muffed punt. And on that play, um, originally they had awarded possession to New Bremen, but because the ball did not cross the line of scrimmage, it's considered a block punt, and so Delphus retained possession on that play, even though they muffed it. And so Delphus had a 21-yard field, and they went in a uh, two-yard run by Nolan Schwinnen, 14-7. Delta St. John's and then the Cardinals offense came alive. They had a two play drive starting at their own 45. David Holman to Nick Alleg, a 21 yard touchdown catch. Point after by Gable is good, 14-14. And then very close to the end of the half, Holman to Alleg again, a 25 yard touchdown pass. Point after was good and that brings our score to 21-14. Yardage. And other statistics, Delta St. John's a total of 56 yards there in the first half, 34 on the ground, 22 passing. Two of four, 22 yards is Nolan Schwinnen throwing the ball. They did have that one turnover as an interception that set up the Cardinals' first touchdown score. 
uh, Double St. John's. I've got them in the books for five first downs. On the Cardinal side of the ledger, 194 total yards, 142 passing yards on 9 of 11 for David Holman. The big recipient there, Nick Alleg, with a couple of touchdown catches. He's got a total of 53, yes, 53 yards on three receptions. Trevor Bergman, 32 yards, two receptions. And then the Cardinals gained 52 yards on the ground. The leading rusher, David Holman, the signal caller. Uh, interesting, uh, just looking over some things here. Um, coming into the game, David Holman had, was 13 of 26 for 124 yards and one touchdown, two interceptions coming into tonight. And tonight he's 9 of 11, 142, two touchdowns just in the first half. So the Cardinal passing game, really the difference there. They had a couple of uh, unfortunate special teams mishaps in the punt game. One was a very short kick, and the other one was a snap over the head of Colton Muther, the punter, which led to two Delphus short fields on offense and two Delphus touchdowns. Cardinals bounced back with two scoring drives of their own to end the half. And so on the first National Bank scoreboard, New Bremen 21, Delphus St. John's 14, as we get ready to start the second quarter. Delphus is going to break out of their huddle. Cardinals already on the field. Hunter Schaefer set to kick off. Delphus won the opening coin toss and elected to defer. Always seems like that always ends up being the wise choice as they could really use a good, long, sustained offensive drive here to try and tie things up here in the third quarter. So week three football, first half is in the books. New Bremen leads by a score. Very physical play up front. Uh, Delphus St. John's doing a nice job until those last two drives of containing the Cardinal offense. And they turn David Holman loose. A lot of, when, when Holman passes, they usually move him to buy him a little time and he'll roll left or roll right, square up. And when he can square up and throw down field, he's, he's pretty accurate. When he's got to throw across his body on the move, and of course that's a lot more difficult. That's where he struggled a little bit. But uh, definitely a nice night passing so far for Holman. And we're underway in the second half, short kick. Double St. John's has to fall on it. The Cardinals trying to get a turnover there. Just took a long time to get going on that one. Olsen falls on it for Double St. John's, and they will start first and 10 at the 25-yard line. I'd like to thank our sponsors once again, Crown Equipment Corporation, First National Bank, Keyhole Pizza, Winner's Meats, Sydney Allglaze Audiology, Precision Strip, Wagner's IGA, and of course NK Telco. Please, if you can, any way, shape, or form, support those businesses. Without their support as sponsors, we'd be unable to bring you high school football, high school volleyball, all the cool sports coverage we provide here in NK Telco Sports. So Schwinnen and the Blue Jays offense set to start off their second half. Two receivers on each side. And the give is to Ricker. He cuts up into the second, third level, and man alive, what a strong run by Rickert. Boy, oh boy, made a couple guys miss at the second level and drug Colton Muther. So from the 26 to the 41, 15 yards by Ricker. And that's 25 yards now on five carries. First down, Jays. You could tell Rickert came out with a little attitude in that run. Lowered the shoulder, drug a couple Cardinals after breaking a couple tackles, and Devil St. John's in business now out at their 41 as Schwinnen looks over to get the play. He'll communicate that out to his receivers on the left side. Waits for the snap, back to pass. Oh, going to pull it down and run now. Cardinals get upfield quickly, and Schwinnen into the third level again. David Holman loses the tackle. One man to beat, and Nathan Rindler saves a sure touchdown as Schwinnen Big run from his 41 down to the 19-yard line. That is a 40-yard run by Schwinnen. And another St. John's first down. He just got through that line of scrimmage. Cardinals were coming, and they got upfield. Schwinnen, it was an RPO, run pass option. Schwinnen pulled the ball down. And great decision there on the part of the St. John's signal caller. And in the shotgun now, two receivers left, one right, got a tight end in. Design run again, Cardinals snuff it right out. Nathan Rindler on the tackle, Schwinnen's gonna lose two. Schwinnen now 64 yards on 12 carries. 
as they are down inside the red zone. Second and 12 now, they need to gain the nine for a first down, so technically they're a yard back outside of the red zone. Brayson Schultze. Gavin Fitro on the left side, Schultze in the slot. Looking pass all the way, Nathan Rindler in there, and boy, that's a big sack for the Cardinal defense. Just what they needed, man. He broke the protection, and that is a 10-yard loss, exactly a 10-yard loss. Just what the Cardinal faithful wanted to see right there. Nathan Rindler got through the blocking, and to this point, the D, excuse me, the uh, Delphi St. John's O-line has been very solid, but uh, the Cardinals managed to get back, and now it's third down and roughly Carthagena from here. And Schwinnen gets a little quick hitter over the middle, and that gains about 16 yards or so. Didn't get the number on the receiver. That's number two. Landon Grothaus, his first reception. Fourth and five now. His first pass completion in a long time. Went in three of five through the air. Fourth and five, and now we're going to get a quick stoppage here. And St. John's called timeout, so we will take a timeout with them. 8.59 to go. Opening drive, third period. St. John's threatening here on NK Telco Sports. Welcome back to New Bremen High School. Scott Fry here with all the action. The Midwest Athletic Conference conference play opens tonight across the league on the First National Bank scoreboard, as you saw there coming out of that precision strip timeout. Cardinals have a seven-point lead, but Delta St. John's now with a fourth and five. They're at the 14. They need to gain the nine. Got a tight end and two receivers left, one right. Single back behind Schwinnen. Schwinnen's going to follow that back, cut it up the middle, and the Cardinals are going to shut that down, and they are going to get a stop, a very timely stop. Brankston Krause in there. Schwinnen gained nothing on that play. Brankston Krause on the tackle, so the Cardinals will flip it over on downs. That was a big, big play right there for the Cardinal defense because, boy, St. John's had all kind of momentum. And that's down there at the Cardinal 13. So, man, that's a painful stop right there if you're Coach Schulte in the Blue Jays. Let's see what offensive coordinator Wentz Morris does here in the second half. This is Hunter Schaefer, spins away. Now he's going to cut inside a receiver block, and he's going to gain a Cardinal first down out to the 25-yard line, 12 yards. Looked like they had him contained. And then he spun out of that and broke it outside on a nice block out on the right side. I think that was Trevor Bergman, the senior wideout. That gave Schaefer a little more room to run, and he picked up that first down. Now a quick pass to Bergman, a little wide receiver screen. screen. He's going to gain the 30 before getting knocked out of bounds by Landon Elwer. Call it the 29, four yards. So four yards to Bergman. Cardinals break the huddle. Now Bergman Alley go over to the left side. Baumbauer at the tight end position on the right. The back is Hunter Schaefer with David Holman. Cardinals second down and five. Holman keeps it over the left side. Just a little seam, and the Delta St. John's defense shuts it down after a gain of two. So third down and three now. 
for the Cardinals. Third down and manageable. This is where you want to be. You're kind of at or maybe slightly ahead of schedule with your with your offense here. Third down and three, that gives you a lot of options if you're Coach Morris. Delphi St. John's needs to, again, continue to be strong at the point of attack. They've done a pretty good job up front tonight. Cardinals just gained 52 yards on the ground in the first half. But really, the pass game came alive for New Bremen. Holman's going to keep it off the sweep fake. 40, 45, he could go. He is fast. 40, 35, 30, 20. David Holman's gone, and you've got no laundry. 32-yard line, that's a 68-yard touchdown. David Holman. Nice job up front, Cardinals, sealing those ends, and that gave Holman the big wide lane to get around the right side, just a designed run all the way, and the Cardinals now stretching that lead a little bit here on St. John's. Their first drive of the second half results in a touchdown, and a long one at that. Here's your kick. It's up and good in the first National Bank scoreboard. The New Bremen Cardinals have doubled up the Duffus John, St. John's Blue Jays by a score of 28 to 14 here on NK Telco Sports. Live New Bremen High School, big play there. David Holman busted that one open over the right side. Great seal on that edge there by the Cardinal O-line. And that sprung David Holman. And, man, he's fast. He's fleet of foot. Once he gets in the second level, good luck with that. And he makes Delta St. John's pay. 28-14 now, the Cardinal lead. That's got to feel a little bit better after the adversity they had there in the first half. They were... Up 7 nothing, and just like that off of two bad special teams plays, they're down 14-7, and Hunter Schaefer might be just a little bit jacked up after that because he pounds a kickoff through the end zone. Strong leg. Best way to cover the return game is to not give him one, and Hunter Schaefer shows you why he's the kickoff specialist here for the Cardinals. And so Duffel St. John's going to take over now, first and 10 at their 20. 7-12 to go here on the first National Bank scoreboard. Cardinals getting back to those keys to the game. They wanted to give Delphus a long field on offense. And since those two special teams mishaps, they've done just that, and it's it's helped them get that edge. Schwinnen now. Looks like maybe they want to change the play, says Coach Schulte. Two receivers on each side. Single back. I think that's Padubny back there. I'll verify. Schwinnen in the shotgun. The give is to the back. It is Padubny. He breaks a tackle over the left side, over the 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And he's finally going to get not nah, finally going to get taken down at the 31. So give that a, let's see, 30 yards from the 20. And 18, that's 38, 48-yard run there for Padubny. That gives him 43 yards on five carries. Boy, he's quick through the hole and very strong. Nice job there by Delphus, opening up strong. Nice job there by Delphus, opening up a hole, Padubny making it work. Now you got two receivers on the right, that's Elwer and J.J. Boniface. Schulte in at the right tight end position. Fitro over here on the left. Schwinnen's going to follow Padubny. He's going to cut it up inside, and the Cardinals, Nolan, excuse me, Nathan Rindler. My apologies, Nathan. Cardinals starting to sniff out that RPO drops. Schwinnen for a one-yard loss. It's 15 carries now for Schwinnen, 53 yards. 
Again, four receivers. This time, Schulte's going to come over in the left slot instead of the right tight end position. Podubny's going to stay in the backfield behind Schwinnen. Little high snap, Schwinnen does a good job. Nice time, now Cardinals get a little pressure down the seam, and tip drill. You've got Teeman back there, and I think David Holman was back there with him. They were, the intended receiver was Elwer, and the Cardinals break it up. So th three of six passing now for Schwinnen, 38 yards. One touchdown, that was to Olsen. That was the first score of the game for Delphus. That tied us at seven back in the first period. Schwinnen gets his play. Basically the same set now for St. John's. He had Elwer running right down the hash mark down the seam, but the safety rotated over to give help to Aaron Tiemann on the corner and did a nice job of covering that. Good blocking as Schwinnen rolls right to his left. Elwer at the 26, down inside the 25 to the 21. And that should be enough for a St. John's first down, gain of 13. You got a flag, though. Let's see what this call will be. Heard the New Bremen side clapping, and they're moving back to the east, holding against St. John's. That's going to be a 10-yard spot foul. So instead of a first down, he races the play. And it's a 10-yard spot foul, which is a drive killer. So... They had third and 11, now they're third and 21. Ooh, painful. That's a killer in high school football. Most holding calls happen in the backfield. And so it's behind the line of scrimmage, plus 10 going the wrong way. Schwinnen now rolls back, design pass, Cardinals a little pressure. Delphus picks it up and it's picked off over the middle. That's a linebacker, I think that's Ike, I'll check it, over the 50. Down to the 46. That is Evan Eink, the junior quarterback. So a nice, nice job there by the Cardinal defense. They sent a little pressure. Delphi St. John's did a nice job of picking it up. Second turnover of the night. As so I was saying, the O-line did a nice job of picking up the Cardinal rush, dropping back in coverage. Evan Eink reads Schwinnen's eyes. Schwinnen throws one over the middle. Eink steps under it. Nice play, Cardinals. They're in business at the 45. Fake handoff. Now Holman's going to go for Alec down the right side. Little contact right there. And they're going to say they're going to contest. You know, they're both contesting that ball. And it'll go down as an incomplete pass. Second down to 10 here for the Cardinals. That turnover gives the Cardinals a little bit of a short field here. So, boy, if you're Coach Schmidt, 514 to go on the first National Bank scoreboard. With your second turnover of the night, if you can turn that into points, that would be 14 points off of two turnovers. And now we've got a stoppage. The officials trying to get things straightened out with the clock. Here we go. Holman now with Muther off his right side. Give us to Muther. He's going to cut up. Nice job. Nice vision. He's going to gain about two there, and then Delphus just slams the door. No real easy running aside from the one that Holman busted loose. Dylan Cross on the tackle there, the six foot two inch senior. He's a defensive tackle. Muther just his second carry, and that's his first positive yardage. So he's had a lot of blocking assignments, and he's been a decoy on a couple of fake jet sweeps. And Delphus, again, with the exception of that long touchdown run we saw a little while ago, they've done a pretty good job of containing the Cardinal run game. This will be Von Bauer in motion. He sets up a tight end. Now Holman, all by himself in the backfield, rolls. He's got a blocker. He's going to pull it down now. He's going to get to the 40, cut it inside, make a couple guys miss. 35, 30, stays on his feet all the way into the 27. They're going to say he's, yeah, down at the 27. 16-yard run by Holman. With that run, that's going to take Holman over the century mark. Nine carries, 111 yards. 
and another Cardinal first down. So now I'm guessing Coach Schmidt's going to want to just slow things down. 13 on the play clock as Brankston Krause brings the play in. 4.02 to go on the first National Bank scoreboard. We're in the third quarter. Cardinals lead by 14. Just going to settle in, take their time, let the offense do their work. Muther off the left side, and you're going to get a flag here. Looks like the play clock ran out on the Cardinals. That'll be a five-yard delay of game. So instead of first and 10 at the 28, it'll be first and 15 at the 33. Cardinals come to the line of scrimmage. Two receivers left. Gives to Muther right up the middle. He cuts it over the left side. He's met there by a couple of Blue Jays. Looked like he had an opening, and Delphus once again shuts it down. Ben Saylor in there trying to block from the tight end position. Again, Delphus very strong up front. Right in the middle of that mess for Delphus is the senior defensive tackle, Dylan Cross. Cross and... Aiden Troyer will come off now, and Delphus will put in a little bit different package. Just, again, give those guys up front a little breathing time there, and the Cardinals gain four on the play. Bringing up second down 11. Again, that delay a game penalty backed him up five yards. Home and empty backfield. Little handoff to Bombauer over the left side. He gains to 25, the 24. Give him four yards. That's his first carry. Again, they've been running him across the back of the formation several times. He plays the tight end position, but the Cardinals will hand the ball to their tight ends in motion. Sometimes they'll set a jet sweep off of that. Sometimes they'll just run a little kind of up the, up the left side or the right side, depending on the motion direction. Frankston Krause brings the play in now, 28-14 on the first National Bank scoreboard. Week three, high school football. This is the conference opener for the Midwest Athletic Conference. In motion, that's Trevor Bergman, excuse me, Brankston Kraus. And we're gonna get maybe a little face mask there. I saw the helmet go back, no flag. Kraus gets down inside the 20. To the 19, so fourth and a yard. Kraus gain about three on that play. Looked like his helmet got pulled back. No call on that. Trevor Bergen comes out, Kraus brings the play in. Cardinal's gonna go for it down here. Fourth and a yard at the 18. Be curious to see if they try to draw Delphus with a hard count or what. They're kind of in a jumbo package here with Kraus and Muther on the right side. And no, they go right with it, David Holman. Easy first down and then some. And he's gonna drag the pile all the way down to the 10. So give him eight yards. Gavin. Excuse me, number 22, Gavin Fitro on the tackle, but not before damage done. Again, the Cardinals had sort of a jumbo package there. They had their tailback and their tight end behind the right side of the O-line, and Holman just followed them in. Very tough to stop that. Nice push up front by the Cardinal O-line. Earlier in the first half, looked like Delphus was really having uh, kind of some success at the point of attack on both sides. The Cardinals have answered and tightened that down a little bit. Muther off the right side of Holman's hip. Muther has it. He's going to go left side, and Delphus does a great job over there of stringing that one out. Loss of a yard. Muther's dropped for a one-yard loss by number 22, Gavin Fitro. Fitro. Up second down. And also 56, Logan Dickman in there for the Blue Jays, and they're going to call that a no gain. So Muther now five yards on four carries. Again, Delphus with that inside Run game of the Cardinals. Delphus has done a nice job of containing that. It, there's just been a couple of uh, outside runs that the Cardinals have been able to make something happen. Two receivers, one wide, one left. Back to pass. A little splitter right over the middle. Boom! That is Ben Saylor. And the linebacker coming over in coverage, Elwer, just a couple seconds late as Saylor leaks into the end zone. And that is a 10 yard touchdown pass, his third of the night, David Holman, to Ben Saylor. So let's see if Owen Gable can stay perfect as the Cardinals extend their lead here. And more importantly for them, look to start the running clock. Owen Gable up and true 
That's five for five tonight for the junior place kicker. Your score, New Bremen 35, Delta St. John's 14 here on NK Telco Sports. Welcome back to Cardinal Stadium. It's kind of turned into the David Holman show here. Three touchdown passes, two running touchdowns accounted for all five of the Cardinal touchdowns. As the Cardinals now have opened up a sizable lead. It was 21-14 at the half on the first National Bank scoreboard. Now 35-14 as Schaefe, as they call him here, New Bremen, kicks one deep. This is Schulte. He's going to cut it up inside the block, and he's going to got good. He's got some room. Excuse me. He's got one man to beat. He's going to go 35-30. Now the Cardinals are catching up to him, and Hunter Schaefer whiffs, and he's going to get down inside the 30. What a great return. He caught that thing at the 10. 63-yard return. And the end of the third quarter is upon us with that return. The New Bremen Cardinals with a commanding lead now, 35-14 over the Delta St. John's Blue Jays here on NK Telco Sports. At First National Bank, we are working hard to make your life a little easier. With products like Card Valet, an app allowing you to control your cards with real-time notifications, transaction restrictions, and spending limits. The ability to access your money through 55,000 all-point ATMs across the country, surcharge free. Live customer support when you need it. And online and mobile banking, allowing you to gain access to your financial information wherever and whenever you like. First National Bank, making your life a little easier. Together, we are family, working safely for our loved ones. We are problem solvers who challenge the status quo and drive improvement. We care about our customer relationships. We stay true to our values, caring and respecting one another. We embrace change as we journey through our career. We are Precision Strip, the world's leading processor of rolled steel and aluminum. Precision Strip, doing the exceptional. Wagner's IGA has been servicing their communities for more than 95 years, spanning three generations. Wagner's founded their business on two basic principles, excellent customer service and quality products. Visit all our locations and experience the finest selection of deli, fresh meats, and variety of beverage choices. While there, don't forget to check out our vast selection of fresh coffee beans, produce, dairy, and bakery items. Visit Wagner's today in Minster, Fort Laramie, and New Bremen, and check us out on Facebook. Welcome back to Cardinal Stadium. New Bremen, two possessions, two scores here in the second half, lead by 35-14. NK Telco Sports and their sponsors are pleased to bring you replays of high school volleyball. Actually, this is football on NK Telco Channel 3 or in high definition on Channel 503. You can see this one again Wednesday, September 8th, 9 p.m. and Saturday, September 11th at 8 p.m. You can also catch more sporting events on demand through YouTube, Facebook, and at nktelco.com forward slash sports. So bringing you tons and tons and tons of high school sports coverage as the Cardinals set to play some defense as Delphus again with a short field on offense. And boy, this is what Coach Schulte needs here to start his fourth quarter and get these Blue Jays back into this thing. Design keeper Schwinnen eludes a tackler and then Another Cardinal linebacker closes the door. Nathan Rindler was in the backfield, but Schwinnen made him miss. Gavin Plyman with the tackle, but not before Schwinnen 
turns about a three yard loss into a two yard gain. 55 yards now on 16 carries for the senior quarterback. Also want to invite you to follow our good friends at WCSM AM 1350 and 96.7 FM and their internet exclusive games on www.wcsmradio.com all season long. They are your sports leader in Mercer and all Glaze counties. We've got a great partnership with WCSM and it's always nice to give them a little shout out. They do great work over there. Braden Suchland breaks up the pass attempt by Schwinnen. So third and eight now at the Cardinal 25 for Delta St. John's. Should they not convert here, gonna have to be four down territory. Got two receivers left, that's Schulte and Fitro. Boniface over here on the right, single back. I think that's the Dubney again, no it's Rickert. Rickert stays in the block, nice job, plenty of time and then throws it away, very wise to do so there, Schwinnen as the pressure was starting to come. So two incompletions in a row. Schwinnen three of nine for 38 yards and a touchdown. And then he also has a touchdown run. So both quarterbacks here accounting for all of the offense as far as scoring is concerned in the, tonight's contest. So fourth and eight. 11-14 to go here on the NK Telco excuse me, the first National Bank scoreboard. Fourth and nine, ball on the 25 yard line. This is Schulte in motion. Schwinnen pass all the way, rolling right. Now he's gonna pull it down. He's gonna run it, 25. Across the 25, about the 22. Nathan Rindler called his name a bunch of times tonight on defense. Gain of three, that is far short of the line to gain. Credit that to the Cardinal defense, and we do have a Cardinal down, that is Brankston Krause. So we're gonna take a quick break here at Precision Step Timeout. Cardinals up by three scores here on NK Telco Sports. Good to see Brankston Krause walking off under his own power. Always a little scary when you see a guy down. And looked like maybe he got uh, lower leg injury somewhere there, but he's walking off under his own power, so that's good to see for him. Cardinals now, another turnover on downs for Delphus. That's the second turnover on downs. They also have two turnovers in the form of interceptions. Their second half drives are turnover on downs at the Cardinal 13, interception, and then a turnover on downs at the Cardinal 25. So Cardinal defense coming up big now. Holman's going to give to Schaefer, and boy, great job there. The Delphus interior line is going to stop Schaefer for probably a yard loss. Well done there. So Schaefer no gain on that play at the Cardinal 22. Twenty-five yards on six carries now for the junior running back. Two receivers right. Here comes the blitz. Cardinals chip and Mason Cook does. Holman escapes, throws downfield. That's risky. Oh, almost caught by Trevor Bergman. Woo! But Holman had to get rid of it. He had the heat coming in the form of number 17, Ethan Druckenmiller. Mason Cook chipped him off the edge, but boy, Druckenmiller was coming. And Holman gets it away, incomplete to Trevor Bergman. Holman 11 of 15, 156 yards passing. Came into tonight's game, two games, a total of 124 through the air. So David Holman definitely having a nice night passing the ball. I also have him at 10 rushes for 119 yards. So he has accounted for a lot of offense. And now you're going to get a Cardinal timeout. 
We will take it with them. 35-14, New Bremen has this in hand in the fourth quarter here on NK Telco Sports. High School Football, welcome back. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Scott Fry. My pleasure to bring you the details as the New Bremen Cardinals. Second home game in a row. You don't see that too often in high school football. That means they're going to play two in a row on the road at some point. They are going to travel to Coldwater next week. And Holman on the design run around the right side. Nice job by, again, by number 17. And now you got a helmet off. we got all kind of shenanigans. Looks like Holman lost his helmet. Uh, Drucka Miller did a nice job on contain there. Let's see where they spot the ball. They're going to call no gain on that, so third down and 10, and now we've got a penalty, which with the helmet rolling around, that could be a face mask. Let's just see what our gentlemen in the striped shirts have to say. So again, as I was saying, New Bremen is going to see Coldwater next week at Coldwater. They are currently up 42 to zero over uh, Fort Recovery. New Bremen is going to see Coldwater. Then they have Anna, Versailles, Minster, Marion Local Parkway, Fort Recovery. So the MAC gauntlet, and this is a penalty against uh, Duffel St. John's five-yard face mask. So fourth down. That'll give the Cardinals a little more punting room. I presume we're going to punt here. Fourth and five. Delphus is going to be taking on. Let me see what I've got here. Minster, Coldwater, Marion Local Parkway, Versailles, Fort Recovery, St. Henry. Nathan Rindler is going to bring in the play. And the Cardinals are going to go for it here on fourth down. And Hunter Schaefer looking for a seam. He finds one, cuts it left, dragging defenders, and he's not going to get there. This was third down. I apologize. The yard marker was incorrect. Now it's fourth down, gain of four. My apologies. Should keep my own statistics instead of worrying about the yard marker there. Colton Muther is going to step back and do the punting chores. Kind of a tough night. Came into the contest averaging 40.8 per punt. And uh, that has been, that average has been shortened significantly tonight with uh, a very short punt and then that snap over his head. So Muther stands at his 16. Great snap. There's what he wanted to do. Nice kick. That's going to fall right at the 31 and bounce, bounce. And out of bounds at about the 21. So there's the long field the Cardinals are looking for. There's nothing that Brayson Schulte can do with that. And so Delphus will take over with 9.07 to go in the fourth quarter on the uh, Dickman Supply scoreboard. Dickman Supply, how about First National Bank? Goodness, Scott. A little throwback to my radio days at WCSM, goodness. So Delphi St. John's now. They're going to try a little bit of different personnel here. Wide receiver, this is Brady Kerner on the near side. Going to line up wide. Left side looks like they're still going to go with Gavin Fitro. Elwer in at the right tight end position. The give is to Podubny. He breaks a tackle. Very slippery, strong runner. Boy, nice run right there. Ran through a tackle and then pulled a Cardinal out of bounds. Out of bounds. 
So seven yards for Padubny. Nice run there. 50 yards on the button on five carries. So obviously with that math, 10 yards a carry. Nice, nice work tonight. Grayson Schultz in at tight end now. Over here on the right side, also on the right side, J.J. Boniface is wide. In the slot is Landon Elwer, number 11. Padubny stays in at the tailback position behind Schwinnen. Schwinnen looking to pass. Kyle Licklider with a little pressure. And they're going to call that a catch right at the 35-yard line. So gain of four on that completion. That was Boniface. His first, second catch of the night. Excuse me. First catch of the night for four yards. And that is enough for a Blue Jay first down. 8.38 to go here in the contest. New Bremen with a comfortable three touchdown lead. Everybody at this point, probably the outcome is probably decided. So guys now getting reps and getting out of here healthy. Play clock down to four. A little fake handoff. The ball is batted and intercepted. Nathan Rindler on the bat. And off the tip drill is Evan Eink, and that is two interceptions now for Evan Eink. Total of three interceptions on the night for Schwinnen. So another tough night at the quarterback position for Delphus. Uh, their first week of the season, I think they had six picks tonight with three. But again, that was really just a great football play there. Nathan Rindler, who's, golly, he's tall. He's center on the varsity basketball team here. He goes six foot six. <laughs> so he's got a, a big wingspan, and you saw it. He just palmed the ball, and I ink a nice reaction there. Holman's going to roll left. Little quick one, and boy, oh, boy, Padubny in coverage there. I'm not sure what was going on. I think he was intended for Bergman, but Padubny knocked it down at the line. Holman 11 of 16 passing, 156. Three touchdown passes. Cardinals taking their time here. Nathan Rindler in the slot. Trevor Bergman wide right. Bombauer in motion across the formation. Holman right up the middle, big hole. Drives down to the 30, carries a couple guys down inside the 30 to the 27. 12 yard carry. Yeah, 12-yard carry, Cardinal first down. So Holman starting to really grind it out here for the Cardinals. 131 yards on 12 carries, and now New Bremen is going to be content to rotate offensive linemen, give guys a little break. This is Marcus Spielman coming in, number 68, play O-line for the Cardinals. And again, they'll run that little angle tight end position. This time he doesn't go in motion. This is Muther looking for a spot, finds a crease, gets inside the 25 to the 21. Nice little hunt and peck run there. Six yards for Muther. Cardinals have a second and a long four. You throw a lineup in sort of a pistol formation off the left hip of the quarterback. Take it the other way. He's going to try on the outside. Now cut it up in to try and split the D. Does so and picks up a Cardinal first down. He started at the 21. He's down to the 13, eight yards. And now you can just see the fatigue on the part of the defense here. The, the Delphi St. John's defense has spent a lot of time on the field, and eight of their guys go both ways per the starting lineup sheet here. So that's starting to take its toll as the Cardinals grind in it. 16 on the play clock, gonna take their time. Nick Alec brings in the play. We get to the end of this one. We'll do a Wagner's IGA quick recap to wrap things up. Cardinals on cruise control here. Holman sends his tight end in motion. Gonna pull it, follow the right side, cuts back up the middle and finds a way to gain about six. That'll bring up second down and four. Ball is down at the seven. Cardinals can get a first down at about the 
three. And again, they're going to be content with 21 on the play clock. I don't suppose they'll be in any big hurry to run this next play. Try to burn some time here. Give us to Muther. He stops, stutters, and the D-line catches up with that. If anything, he lost a yard. Yeah, lost two yards. Nice job that time by the Delphus D-line. So third down and five for the Cardinals. 5.28 to go on the first National Bank scoreboard. 35-14, New Bremen leads. This would put them at 3-0 oh on the season, headed to Coldwater. Always a challenge heading west of Mercer County. Coldwater hitting on all cylinders. Homan now kind of a little naked rollout. And he's intercepted in the end zone, and Delphus returns it out of the end zone. And the interceptor finally knocked out of bounds. Let me get a jersey number for you on that. I think that's number seven. Nice job of stepping in front of that home and pass. So, and no, that is number six. Brady Kerner, nice interception there in the end zone to prevent the Cardinals score. So the Blue Jays will have it first and 10 at the Cardinals 16. Cardinals first turnover tonight. So Holman throws a pick in the end zone late in the game. And St. John's will take over first and 10 now. And they are at their own 16 yard line. Ooh, high snap, nice job of hanging on to that. Now he's going to dump it out to the left side. This is number two. That's Landon Grothaus. Gain of two. Braden Suchlin on the stop there. First carry for Grothaus. It's the first time we've seen that big wide motion, arcing motion play by that wide receiver and then just a little toss. Cardinals did a nice job of containing that. Such in the left corner on defense, just came up and made that stop for Coach Schmidt, the Cardinals. She went in a little option. And again, New Bremen right there to close the door, Rickert. Gavin Plyman on the stop as Ricker gains about one, six carries, 26 yards for Ricker. So long third down yardage here for St. John's, third and seven. Ball rests at the St. John's 19. Schwinnen gets his play set. Brings Elwer in motion, fakes it to him, and the Cardinals in there blowing it up. That's Evan Eink, and you're going to get a fumble recovery for a touchdown. Brandon, Brandon, Brankston Kraus. And boy, oh boy, Cardinal defense. And Kraus just a little gimpy getting up, but boy, oh boy, Evan Eink is having a night. He causes the fumble. And then Krause picks it up, a scoop and score. 41-14 now is Owen Gable. Comes on for the extra point. And Gable, six for six. As the Cardinals take a 42-14 lead off the fumble return for a touchdown by Brankston Krause here on NK Telco Sports.
Bobby. Bobby good. Welcome back, Cardinal Stadium in New Bremen High School. Cardinals all over this one, 42-14 in the MAC opener, week three football. Frankston Krause, the scoop and score. Evan Eink, his third turnover the night, two interceptions for the junior linebacker, and then caused a fumble with a huge hit in the backfield. Ball popped out, and there was Krause. I want to say it was about a five or six yard return into the end zone. Hunter Schaefer, the kick deep again down the far side inside the 10. This is Schulte. Plenty of room over a lane. Makes a couple guys miss over the 40 and out of bounds right there, maybe the 41. I'll tell you, Grayson Schulte has been a highlight reel tonight for Devil St. John's in the return game. So Devil St. John's right back on offense after the turnover. 3.56 to go on the first National Bank scoreboard. Coldwater victorious tonight. Big time over Fort Recovery. So Coldwater's 3-0. The Cardinals will come into that matchup 3-0. Should be a good one. Devil St. John's will take on the Minster Wildcats, who are presently on the low side of things score-wise with St. Henry. Padubny now carry over the left side. Makes a couple guys miss. Boy, he's a good runner. He's strong and quick. He finds the hole, and he's going to gain 11. 61 yards on the night. Another Delta St. John's first down. Cardinal 48 yard line, first and 10 for St. John's. Padubny having a nice night running the ball. I mean, he's a slashing runner, but boy, he's strong. He's, he breaks first contact like every time. He's quick and strong. Schwinnen looking left. Can't hang on to it. That was Landon Grothaus. Second 10 now for Delphus. Cardinal defense pitching a shutout here in the second half. Delphus had two short fields in the first half off of some special teams miscues of the part of the Cardinals, and they scored. They took it over first and 10 at the 17, two plays and in, and then first and 10 at the 21. I think it was three plays and in. And other than that, the Cardinal defense has done a pretty good job of holding this St. John's offense down. Schwinnen now looking to go long. Now he's going to have to pull it down. Everybody's covered downfield. He gets down inside the 45. Tackle there by Bombauer. And also number 99 for the Cardinals. That's Caden Marcy. But we've got a penalty guessing it's going to be holding the flag is right at midfield and it is so again 10 yards from that spot the line of scrimmage was the 48 so they're going to net lose 12 and have to play second down over again that's just a tough penalty in high school football the ball rests at the 40 so second down in Kettlersville to go here for Delta St. John's now as they've got to essentially gain 22 yards for a first down 312 and ticking on the first National Bank scoreboard. It's been a beautiful night for football. Sure would like to thank Athletic Director Chad Wells for his hospitality. Devil St. John's timeout. We'll take it with him. New Bremen just looking to close things out here on NK Telco Sports. Back New Bremen, Delta St. John's out at 40. So they've got a little ways to go here. 
four receivers in the pattern, wide open. We've got a new running back. We've got all kinds of motion, so we're going to add five more. So it'll be second and 27. And again, we're starting to see some clean shirts, some JVs coming in, getting some good reps on Friday night under the lights. And sometimes you just have a couple of miscues there. Looks like our new signal caller for Delta St. John's is number 14, Grant Ulm, the six foot sophomore. Wide to the near side, this is Drew Boggs, a freshman. In the slot, Nathan Ditto. Two receivers left, whole new O-line. Cardinals with a bunch of subs. Little screen right at the middle. This is Boston Reynolds, lots of room to run. The Cardinals finally slam the door. But Reynolds gains nine. Nice little screen there, but again, the Cardinals did a nice job of closing that out. That was Jonathan Heitkamp from the linebacker position. See Bobby Good coming off the field. Again, Delphus trying to get set, 13 seconds on the clock. Now you've got a flag, I'm thinking procedure here. Yeah, legal substitution. Probably 12 men in their huddle. Again, you got some JVs out here. These guys are getting their first reps of the night. So you'll have that. All good experience. Third down, 23. 221 to go here in New Bremen. Cardinals up 42-14. It's time to get the twos and the threes in to get a little action under the lights. This is Reynolds, and he has stopped dead in his tracks for about a five-yard loss. Again, Caden Marcy back there for the tackle. So that's a minus five on the stat sheet. But blocking assignment up front was missed, and that's going to be fourth down now for Delphus. And there was a penalty of holding, which was declined. Cardinals want to have them punting the ball at this point. So St. John's now backed up to their own 33. They'll get their personnel figured out here. 149 and counting. Nine on the play clock. St. John's going to have to hurry up if they're going to get in a punt formation. Now they're just going to run a play here. And now we've got a stoppage. Timeout St. John's. We will take it with them. Almost done here in New Bremen. Cardinals up big here on NK Telco Sports. Coming out of another precision strip timeout. Double St. John's now gets their punting formation together, and this is valuable, valuable time for your coaching staff and your players. Evaluating talent, getting guys in game situations who might ordinarily not get to do that, and this is how you build depth in your program. And the St. John's punt away, beautiful kick. It's gonna bounce and then go sideways, so they will down it at the Cardinal 33, where the Cardinals will take over first and 10 on offense, and out to play quarterback for Coach Schmidt. This is Keaton Putoff, six foot sophomore. He got some reps last week in closeout time. 1.30 to go on the first National Bank scoreboard, so I'm sure Coach Schmidt interested in getting this one in the books, getting out of here in a healthy manner. We did see Frankston Krause go down earlier with what looked to be a little lower leg situation, but he uh, ended up coming back in and returning a fumble for a touchdown and look to be in decent shape there. So Cardinals will break the huddle, get into position, nine on the play clock. 
Keaton put off a quarterback. There's a give to Schaefer. He's going to run up the left side, tackled by a host of Blue Jays. In on the tackle, Braden Conley, number 21. Schaefer picks up two yards. Second and eight now for the Cardinals. Trevor Schaefer again, the ball carrier, is going to bounce to the right side over the 40. Nice little run right there. Should be enough for a first down. Now oh, they're going to mark him back a yard. So a total of nine yards now on two carries for 36, Trevor Schaefer. And the Cardinals chalk another first down. As we are down to 30 seconds left in the contest here on the First National Bank scoreboard. Jonathan Heitkamp with a little end, jet sweep, excuse me, and he has stopped dead in his tracks, four yard loss. Nice read that time on the defense. Johnny Heitkamp gets stopped cold. Alex Heron on the tackle. Also in there, Josh Mueller. And that's gonna be it for this one. We were down under five seconds. And Coach Schmidt content to let that run out. They're gonna go meet it midfield. And for the MAC opener for these teams, the Cardinals move to 3-0 with a 42-14 win over the Delta St. John's. Blue Jays will move to 0-3. We'll come right back after this break with the Wagner's IGA recap and stats here on NK Telco Sports. Hello, New Bremen. I'm Matt Everidge with NK Telco, and we're here for you for your cable, telephone, and internet services. Hey, Minster. This is Nate Henry with NK Telco, and we're here for you for your existing cable TV, internet, and phone service. Hey, New Knoxville. I am Wesley Meyer at NK Telco. We are here for you and your customer service needs. Hey, Maria Stein. I'm Ken with NK Telco, and we are here for you with hometown pride. We are here, and here, and here. Minster Bank is everywhere, providing every banking service that you need to keep your financial life in order. Whether you are on the go or stopping by one of our branches, Minster Bank is here for you. We proudly support the communities where you live. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. Ankle Center offers a family-friendly environment with a personalized approach to reduce pain, restore function, and improve mobility. Dr. Christopher Stuckey specializes in reconstructive foot and ankle surgery, diabetic foot care, trauma including fractures and sports injuries, along with bunions, hammer toes, and ingrown toenails. Grand Lake Foot and Ankle Center has offices located in St. Mary's and Salina. To schedule an appointment, call our office at 419-394-8664. Welcome back to Cardinal Stadium one last time. Let's do a quick Wagner's IGA recap as you see the Cardinals victorious tonight in front of the home fans as they line up to hear the Cardinal marching band play the alma mater. Helmets in the air. Always a nice moment for the winners. Let's talk about the stats on the Delta St. John's side of the ledger. 177 total yards, 135 on the ground, leading rusher Clay Podubny, seven carries, 61 yards. Passing side of the ledger for Delta St. John's, uh, Nolan Schwinnen. 4 of 11, 42 yards, and a touchdown. That was on the opening drive. Um, the turnover bug really got Duffel St. John's. That was a key that Coach Schulte wanted to avoid, but the Cardinal defense did a great job. Uh, we had an interception, two interceptions, two fumbles, and so a total of four takeaways. On the Cardinal side of the ledger, 
370 total yards, 214 on the ground. That was led by David Holman, 137 on 13 carries. And then Holman passing, 11 and 15, 156. Definitely his best performance of the year. Also threw for three touchdowns, two to Nick Alec, and one to uh, Schaefer, I believe. Oh, Ben Saylor, excuse me. Uh, so three touchdown passes, but Holman also two touchdown runs. And so the Cardinals, um, with just one turnover, end up coming away plus three on the turnover margin tonight. Uh, very impressive performance, especially once they got their special teams woes handled, uh, which is what led to the two Douglas Jefferson scores. So the last order of business tonight is to choose the NK Telco player of the game, and that's an easy call for me. Uh, junior signal caller quarterback David Holman accounted for five of the six scores tonight, two on the ground, three through the air. And he is our NK Telco player of the game. So congratulations to junior quarterback David Holman. Big night as the Cardinals win their MAC opener over the Delta St. John's Blue Jays by a final score of 42 to 14 here on NK Telco Sports. Like to once again run down those sponsors. Like to thank Crown Equipment Corporation, First National Bank, Keyhole Pizza, Winners Meats, Sydney Oglays Audiology, Precision Strip, Wagner's IGA, and NK Telco. For Nolan Emerson, my cameraman, I am Scott Fry one last time. Congratulations to Chris Schmidt and the New Bremen Cardinals on the big win tonight. And we'll see you next time here on NK Telco Sports.